Hello folks, welcome to Site B once again and time for a quick update on the vehicles that we are working on here. So, first to see is our E46 Touring. Um, been a while now since we've done much work with this car or given you an update on it. So here we are today. And if you've been following along, you'll see that we've uh, changed quite a bit up front here. Uh, we've moved four of the battery modules from the rear into a battery box that's pretty much invisible in here now. Uh, but it's mounted, it's in there, you can just about see the lid of it. And up top of that we have our Tesla uh, Model 3 PCS. And uh, so this guy is going to live here. And it's going to give us our 10 kilowatt um, AC charger and our DC to DC converter. And in the middle here, we're just also mocked up the positioning for our new high voltage junction box. And obviously in the back then we've got our Nissan Leaf um, inverter and motor hooked up to the original BMW manual gearbox. There had been some comments uh, going around that I had made a front wheel drive E46. And to that I say, Bleh. So, that is our E46 project, uh, working away on getting components installed in the front here. Uh, we've got a few other bits to do, including our nice E92 cooling pump and our Chevy Volt coolant heater. Uh, to keep my toes warm in the winter because I don't like having cold toes whether it's in summer or winter so that's where we're at with our uh, touring so hopefully the next few weeks we'll have this rewired here in the front and I'll be able to do some proper driving so the Bexus as we are now calling our E65 7 series uh, when you last saw her was driving around with just solely a front battery pack. Now we have another 12 of our crappy valence batteries installed in the rear, uh, which is going to give us a total of about 480 volts to feed to our Lexus uh, GS450H hybrid gearbox. So up front here, a little bit going on as well. We've got our front ba battery tray is now fully installed uh, cooling system is in the process of going in and we have our Tesla Gen 3 uh, charger which is going to be in here for giving us about 18 kilowatts of AC charging and this will be our high voltage junction box in here got all my high voltage cables installed under the vehicle so they're going to need to get wired in here uh, so we can start driving around uh, with our almost 500 volt battery pack and uh, with a bit of luck um, this should give us quite a nice drivable vehicle so this is where we're at with the Bexus Lexus um, big 7 series uh, got a good bit of low voltage wiring to tidy up got our prototype controller still wired up here so yeah sorry about the interruption on that last segment folks but we had a visitor and a rather important one at that so it was the nice gentleman who decides uh, whether I've screwed up my automotive engineering or not good news is I had not screwed up on the grey goose but I had a minor screw up here on the Bexus. So, good news is we've now fixed it. So on our Bexus front uh, battery mounting, I had originally tied it to the radiator mount and the inspector was a little bit concerned that that could uh, lead to a failure point. So, 
on both sides now we have added a strengthening plate uh, on this side and if I can contort myself around more importantly contort you guys we have done the same thing here on the uh, on the other side so these are now tied in and that was the last uh, inspection that we needed in order to be able to get our Bexus and our Grey Goose on the road and also underneath the Bexus for you to see are the myriad of high voltage and signal cables uh, running from the rear of the car to the front and of course our Lexus GS 450H hybrid gearbox installed and ready to start providing uh, our two-ton beast here with um, forward motion so oh, on that note cables Ugh. yes on that note let me wish you all a happy Chinese New Year and uh, we will see you in the next video until then uh, don't forget to dislike don't share and if you are subscribed unsubscribe as quickly as you possibly can check the links in the description for the usual suspects I won't bore you and until then um, happy strengthening plate welding <laughs>